Crash reporting is one of the most useful pro-user features, well, other than email support. It allows you to send logs from the device and potentially get stack traces from iOS code. Crash reporting is really two or three different features. The first is the ability to send a log directly to your developer email. By using log.sendlog, you will receive an email containing the crash log. You can bind crash log sending to exceptions on the event dispatch thread, which will automatically send you emails on errors. This is something very useful, which you can leave for production application. You can also use the default crash reporter, which will automatically send error messages for exceptions and possibly send logs every few minutes. This is useful during the debugging stages where you might want to track application logs on a device. You will notice that crashes on iOS, J2ME and RIM don't include stack traces for exceptions. To circumvent this, we have a special build flag for pro users. Just define crash protect true in the build arguments and send the build warning. This will significantly slow down your application. So make sure to disable it when you are done debugging. This is also not as reliable as the standard stack trace and might produce misleading results. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.